vibes. Okay, th another larcenist. Another hand touches the beacon. I don't know if I'm ramping my opponent right now or like... <laughs> the hell sus. I mean, opponent's just absolutely destroyed, right? Like, you could even grab the beacon room and I'll do it. Anything is possible. Believe in your dreams. Make it happen. I'm not a hater. I need a land, but like this is a decent start. So. Wee woo wee woo wee woo. Red aggro bullet. Wee woo wee woo wee woo. It'd be nice if we have the wormlet though. Wookiees is base six one and three one. Wookiees is base. It's true. It's true. Oh my god. Wookiees is base. Alright, I'm genuinely confused what the opponent is trying to do. I think it's like red aggro, but they haven't played anything. They're probably just stuck with a bunch of burn spells in hand. I don't know. This uh, little worm mother is definitely not living. But uh, it is what it is. At one point, you just gotta, you just gotta game. Mono red control. Yeah. My favorite. I've been enjoying cookies except for the part where I see a winning line just after playing something else. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I feel that, like, the cookie experience. You just get cookies in 124 MGO challenge, three decks, all top 25, and your exact list make top 16 twice. Period! Like, that's the shit that makes me happy. Like, it's actually a legitimate meta deck. Like, be real. Which one was it, though? Oh, I think I know what you meant. I think I know which one you meant. The one that was, like, what, a week ago or something? Yeah, that one was fucking sick. Like, y'all don't understand the amount of messages I get from people that are like, thanks for the list, like, and they qualified for RC for the regional championship. Like, <laughs> it's fucking sick. It's fucking sick. I wonder uh, how many cookie players are going to have at Chicago, the 75k. I'll probably, like, try to represent. Definitely. Oh my god. Okay. Mm -hmm. Red aggro, what are we doing? Hear me out, Def Cookie Cosplay in Chicago. <laughs> Someone go do it. Oh, wait, Emirates Veteran? Oh, sheesh! Young Hero Roll Token. Whenever this attacks, toughness is three or less. Wow, sheesh! Vibes, honestly. That was like in Vegas, it was like somebody equals playing uh, Sir Ginger, which is fucking sick, by the way. That was fire. The cookie hole. <laughs> uh, we have to put some tough cookies and ginger roots down at the rat hole for good luck in the 75k. The rat blessing. Ember's veteran and main is a super interesting way to play red aggro though. And it do be a lightning strike. Alrighty. I'm not really surprised, of course. Like just classic. Tough cookie! 
All right, I'm gonna swing over to Glyph, hold back with Ginger Brew, probably. For some reason, whenever I see Ember's veteran, I think about that like Vaults of Eldrain two mana creature that's like that was like one mana remove an artifact adventure card. It was called something something shield breaker, I think. Whenever I see, I think the art's like very similar. I, I don't know why. At first I was like, holy shit, I like, kept playing that guy and I was like, that's from fucking old Eldraine. Ember's Shieldbreaker, yeah. <laughs> kind of a good card. Like, I remember playing it in like my um, Sacrifice decks. Break for like the mirror. Deck in the day. Obviously there were like better alternatives, but I did play it. Eldraine was so fucking cool, yeah. We'll never, we will never ever feel that high of like when, you know, Throne of Eldraine was released. Nothing will ever match that experience, truly. Nothing will ever, ever top that. We just, like, just knowing that vintage. <laughs> Just knowing that what you had in front of you was one of the most, like, broken sets in recent times. It's crazy. I'm okay if it's a monster rage, like, I don't really care. Like, we'll still just trade. I probably gotta be a little respectful here, just play tough Kuki out. Yeah, still two for one, like, I'm cool for that. Kind of want this Ginger Brew in a graveyard anyways, because of the Suetic Glyph synergy. Like, I can give it, like, unblockable. Well, I guess they got, like, Kumano, which is technically, like, a haster, but, you know. I feel like they hold themselves in Woe. I think Woe was still a powerful set, to be honest. Like, not, not Ixalan power level strong, but it was still a strong set. Did a lot for standard. And especially, like, you don't really, like, feel the impact of, like, the three-year rotation shit, but I still think it was a powerful set. Don't cuss you out, EDH, because you're you one with Shackle, guys. <laughs> Classic EDH experience. Average EDH experience. Yeah, I think uh, MKM Murders is going to do a lot for red aggro, though. Truly. Yeah. Okay. You really have no cards left right now, Flick. It's not happening. I'm on nine life. Give up. like out here like breaking their brain to try and figure lethal out spoiler alert it doesn't exist unless i'm dumb but uh, i'm at nine and i have a booker like got it take your time no flick use your rope or is it like the classic red aggro player salt like fuck i don't have it which one is it Last second panic.
Um, Yeah, I'm moderate looking for lethal. Like, I'm sorry, bestie. I don't think it's gonna happen for you. They found it. Yeah. <laughs> they found it. I mean, honestly, there's always it's always like a valuable strategy, um, you know, to hope that your opponent doesn't see it, but I think that strategy works more and more the less time you give your opponent. And they basically went through like two ropes, so. Gave us a lot of time to figure it out. What an era that was. <laughs> YouTube parodies. Alright, let's hit him with the ginger root. Like a G6, yeah. <laughs> That's such a bot though. I mean, I'm sorry. That's fine. All right, guys, let's set this roomlet up. The nerd version roll a d6. Oh god, I can imagine. I can imagine somebody made that, huh? I can imagine. Silly shit. All right, gamer, you're gonna have to find a way to deal with this teething wormlet, or life is going to get tricky. With life, I mean this game. No blocks. Embercleave. <laughs> Kidding. I feel like made that Ember Embercleave like joke before, and people were like, "What? What do you mean Embercleave? It's not standard." Oh, really? Shit. My bad. Like two years behind. Wow. What the fuck, dude? Vampire Vengeance. Whoa. Irony is dead. Nah, it's true. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too convincing, you know? Get two for two, yeah. True. So yeah, we got a Euro Rest Forge there if things get a little scary. For now, I think we're okay. Another banger. Katy Perry Golden Era rule. Classic after classic, yeah. This is such a this is such a bop. Yeah, we're we're like in um zero's playlist kind of energy. Some more uh, nostalgic bangers in there. Bangers only. You got it, of course. All right, so that feels suspicious because what if I do this? <laughs> yeah. When he asked Gaga about, I kissed a girl and she said, I don't kiss the girl. I fucking remember that interview. <laughs> real, real. Opponent's a little gag right now, unless they find another way to like deal some more damage, but we'll take another two for one. Like at this point, Red Aggro is just done for, like, you kind of feel pushing damage. Remember Bob into this song, your dad saying you'll probably never kiss a girl. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> That's a roast. Yeah. 
gags. Crazy. My husband and I are very happy. <laughs> no, I absolutely love that for y'all. Like, love that. As she should. As you should. Mm. I mean, I'm just gonna hold the Beseju. Like, I don't think I'm uh, losing any of them soon here. <laughs> For fuck's sake, you got it. Did request a new Megan song instead. It goes hard. I have a lot of like bangers in the queue though, so we'll take a let's do the new Megan. It do go it, it, like it, it really does go hard. Put that one in there. Yo, I don't know what's going on with Nikki. Like, I'm scared to say anything. She's gonna beef with me. <laughs> she's gonna beef with me. Like, she's going after random TikTok accounts. Like, fucking pop base on Twitter. Like, I don't even know. Good way to farm Cloud, I guess. She will find you. Like, she she will. Like, she will. She will find you. Yeah, I should have saved you to it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great way to get on a Nikki song. Imagine she makes a diss track about- Nah, it's true, like, it's true. That is a vibe. Free Nikki song. All right, we're gonna put that over there. I'll see if I can get a map here. Um, I'm cool with that in a grave. She makes Ash just a little distract and drags Anvil. <laughs> Nikki's secretly very knowledge about ma knowledgeable about, ma about like Magic the Gathering standards instructed. Would go hard. I believe it. Nah, me too. It goes places. Yeah, <laughs> she goes places. I'm watching this gag. Um, well, I don't really know what they're trying to do here. Take your time, I guess, red aggro player. Yeah, it's uh, comes with for free with the gig sleeve. There you go. Woo! Just have your whole screen be like this magenta cube. Going crazy. Try not to get like hypnotize whatever it's pretty sick cool feature yeah this is what 10 gigabytes got us so pretty neat you know pretty neat all right we're getting another swing i'm pretty sure i have some stuff in the grave Another witch stalker frenzy. All right. <laughs> Writing Nikki's line, Ryan. Let's get real engine. I could swing in for ten. In. Am I losing here ever from a 10 life? I don't, I don't think so. Not one bit. Okay. Oh, look, another classic. Okay. I'm holding a cauldron in case it feels like another adversary. Like, that could be rough, though. 
Not that it would be enough to get me because they would deal 9 damage, but uh, safekeeping would still save me. Won't risk it though. Not when we're, we're already like winning the game, you know. All right, scoundrel. Should be scoundrel into like discard to draw. Okay. That was not gonna. That's not gonna get you lethal. I fear. Oh, this is where they're gonna like use another like two ropes to try and figure out if they can get lethal. Take your time though. We're not judging. You do you. Okay. They saw it. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's the experience then. Uh, so this is a turn two cauldron. We got some larcenists. This is not really. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's got potential, but. I need to like draw some artifacts. I'm feeling like I can though. How many galleons? <laughs> All the galleons, please. I'm either relying on a top deck or playing against a deck that plays creatures. So. We'll see. I only played galleon once in the um, haywire might. Oh fuck, what the hell? Haywire might in the main? What do you mean? The fuck? Is this mono green vibes okay the, another larcenist another hand touches the beacon hmm. oh i know this is going to be an experience Mono green artifacts. It appears so. I don't know if I'm ramping my opponent right now or like <laughs> they little sus. Wormlet. That's a good card. Taste. my best bet like create a might and then to lift the might i guess so sure if we gotta we gotta just three drops only i fear at least we have lands what a banger Cookie is vibing to this. All right. What is that? Tribute to the world tree? Okay. Before Silver Wreck Elder comes down and wrecks our shit. Don't manifest that because I believe it. I will leave it for sure. They seem like the, the deck. Okay. Just get that going. Come. Okay. I'm gonna him. Aldrin. All right. I do think 
think like Mono Green could be like somewhat playable uh, once we get um, murders. Oh, sheesh. I mean, for four mana, like you'd expect it to, you know. <laughs> you'd expect it to do something. Lift is so awesome. It's true. Raiju's power, but like, oh. A sentinel. I mean, opponent's just absolutely destroyed, right? Like, we could even grab the, the D thing room. I'll do it. I play beans when you couldn't play seeds, seed stones, yeah. I've never even seen it in limited. <laughs> okay. Hey, why are mines like very, very slay? Okay, we're not listening to this song. I cannot believe she's got it in this playlist. This is a ball. I guess I'll have to pass my turn. Uh -huh. She's just she's just sitting there right now, like. Well. Elvish archivist. Wow. I mean, I'll respect it, I guess, because you know. Hey, why are mites for days? Um, we haven't really farmed so far. <laughs> I fear. Not really a done a good job farming. Me size cup. Hmm, ice cold espresso. Right, that's a big boy. Vibes bestie. I mean, I'm just gonna glyph the ginger brute. Like, eventually, we're just gonna work with like unblockable stuff and like be okay. Hey, my haywire might went to the gym. Like. <laughs> At least uh, they won't really want to sacrifice that little guy anymore. So like a cauldron might be a bit more safe. Oh, he's so heavy. <sighs> Sorry, I've. Oh my god, you're falling! You're falling! Oh shit! Bye. Oh shit, clay champion. Damn. They create some thick creatures like. Impressive. Impressive. Yeah, they're playing model green artifacts, which is a vibe. I mean, surely they can't. You know what? Actually, they might. I'm like, surely they can kill me, right? At, like, out of nowhere. But to be fair, they fucking would. Impressive. So yeah, we started blasting. next Rex, like something evil is gonna go happen here. Okay. 
Okay, he's gonna get Archivist back. No, I'll take him. I can't believe there's people out here that think that thought that this thing was good. That was actually a pretty clever, clever like play. All right, damn. Pretty clever. I was supposed to play two planner disruptions. <laughs> yeah, I somehow still am surprised. Okay. Well, this should be it, at least, so that's good. This should be it. You know what, Bestie, you have taste. From one tough cookie enjoyer to another. Excellent. Does anyone know how to change a card's art style in my cube draft? Your arena cube? Like, uh, I don't think you can change them in the draft itself. I think you can change them when you, uh, um, get to your deck builder eventually i think you can just equip styles okay we take it do my rsq event no i didn't have the cards Two Wallanders, more. I, I even like tap one. Like fuck that, I'm not doing that. You're you're crazy. You're crazy. Is this pirates. This fucking slave. It is. Slave true. Red and pink is right here. Wee. Grix throwing purple squares. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's just Grixes. I thought it was pirates. I got excited for a second. Then it was Deep Cavern Bat. Maybe it's like pirates with Deep Cavern Bat. I don't know. Kicks with the jump scare. Boring. I'll take a boat, probably. The Unity error, yeah, right. <laughs> Either way. We take it, we use it to our advantage. Nothing like a pink square, like, fucking things up. Probably like saving a card and sort of hit the wormlet, I imagine. Oh, it's cooking though. This is a full deck. We're gonna be like a best of both worlds mix of like premier mid range and reckless mid range. Be interesting. Yeah, that's fine.
swinging in. You stupid fucking dinosaur! Get the Get fuck the out of here! I mean, um, kind of not gonna like play this larceness out for nothing, you know. Well, I guess we drew some lands. It's not bad. I wouldn't have mined some power, but. Updates have been terrible. Yeah. That's an understatement. Okay, they're also playing invasions. I'm really not ent like entirely sure what they're playing, so we gotta stay aware. Breaches and Malcolm. So there is a lot of pirate synergy in here. Vets and pirates and dinosaurs. Just Ixalan dot deck. I mean, this is really greedy, you know, but, um... Go for the throw. I just don't want to give them reef, go after invasion, you know. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I, it definitely is giving just like pirates, pirates splash black, like for bat. Maybe split removal, I imagine. That felt a lot like a go for the throat or something. I wish I had better things to do with my mana though. Yeah, it does. I'll just keep trying, I don't know. I mean, it's good aggression. I'll probably keep it, I guess. You're playing the mere blood letter combo. <laughs> I fucking love that deck. What build are you playing? I don't know if my blood letter deck still holds up. I know there's still some people playing it. You stupid fucking dinosaur! Get the right, well, I tried to avoid that, but... Um... A word. I was really hoping to avoid that, yo, you know, but, uh, yeah. That card necessarily so looks sick as a reckless card. Vibes. A little engine. Mm, we actually got that. Okay. Well, at least you're not disrupting my hand anymore. This is a really like fucking cool take on pirates, by the way. Pirate mid range. Okay, if there sounds like something is dying in the background, fortunately there's not, I hope. 
nightmare. Anyway, it's a really cool take on pirates. Mid-range pirates. Better than normally it's always like mid-range vampires. This is mid-range pirates, like respect. So technically this little engine like can just do it by itself. Um I feel like they might interact with that though. Anyway, let's find out. Let's swing in. Because we can just hit him for six. Okay. Looks like a throne deck that is trying to run the best card of each type. I don't know. I think it's really just pirates with like, you know, I think it's really just is that pirates splash, splash black for bat and then also carnosaurs. <laughs> so Jace Evadara throws him off. Jace is not really, I mean, I know there's, Jace has been like pirate vibes before, but we don't count it. We don't count it. We don't acknowledge Pirate Jays. Angrath, though? What are we going to do about the Angrath erasure in this game, chat? Tell me. What are we going to do? How long will we continue like to tolerate this? Stupid sexy Pirate Jays, yeah. Sure. Pretty much forever. <laughs> I don't, I don't like bring back my fucking Minotaur like king. I don't care. Justice for Angrath. I'm so serious. Am I gonna get hit by like a Brotherhood's End or some shit? I don't know. I can't believe, like, I was so hyped up that like Angrath might have returned with Ixalan, but you know. The set would be too perfect. You can't have that, of course. Perfection does not exist. <laughs> it would be too good. Anyway, we're kind of shitting on him now. Pirate Vraska. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. Anyways, yeah, they kind of got a block. That is valid, but greedy. So play this out. Probably. Well, should I play this out? That's the question. What kills me? I don't think anything does, really. Like, I have another glyph in my hand. I'll just play it out. Fired Vraskow's six mana. Yeah, I like vaguely remember it. I think she just got overshadowed by like four mana of Ruska. But yeah, I think she created like death touch tokens or something, didn't she? All right, let's try it. Looks fine, I guess. Looks fine. No Kamano on one? Damn, I'm shocked. Too all unexpected that. Mm -mm. I'll just swing it with Glyph next turn. We'll be the aggro deck. It's going into turn three and only dealt three damage. Sheesh. You call yourself a red aggro player. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Crazy. Who better, best dude?
Already sleep even. Kinda cool. Red Agro is still just fully convinced they're racing. Hopeful. Alright, well, let's see what they do about this one. Probably not much, I don't think, but we'll see. They have uh, five cards on hand, so they could still do a thing or two. Um, mm -mm. What's the play? Sure. Spending mana to unlock Godric, that's fine. So, yep, you're at five. They could have maybe cool met tricked me, but <laughs> they didn't care, I guess. Just go face, he'll be fine. Yeah, no. Could be worse. We got lands at least. Siren. I was hoping they had Kumano though. That would be like, I was kind of hoping they would have it. This is a little bit more difficult to deal with. Hmm. I guess they sequence it differently. Hmm. Pain lands, love them. Monsters rage already. All right, dude. Why wouldn't you? Let's see what they play next. Godric. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, Hyrule might just gonna like grab Felda before it can transform, I think. Surveil land? I don't know. Is it? There's some cauldron synergy in there, I guess. And maybe some like map, map token synergy in there too, which isn't bad. Then Ivy Calyx sack. Yeah, that one went hard. Identical sanctum, sanctum when, when, when. Come on, Wormlet, you gotta survive. Fuck, no, no lens, no, 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 right now. Not right now. Poor timing. Poor timing. Bad land. Bad land. Please, we're stars. Can do this. All right, I guess it didn't matter in the end, huh? Bad land. I think I gotta just chump that. We're like close to stabilizing, like our life total is still healthy enough, but this hand isn't looking great. Let's see.
Gotta like stop whatever damage we can stop, you know? to spare but to trample okay the second I get this cauldron I can do a little bit if at all So I needed to not be summoning sick because then I could sack it to like gain life, but it's like I don't know, try to high roll with the sentinel maybe. Hopefully they don't top deck. Who's that in the background? Have you ever heard of A24's Pearl? Mia Goth. Greatest movie of all time. <laughs> right there, she's there to give us the energy that we need. She's a star. Her name is Pearl and she's a star, it's true. <laughs> Very true. They did not attack there? Holy shit, that's insane. Oh my god. Dude. The bullet we fucking dodged just then. This is my Pearl Shrine, yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. In that our land, we, we do love that so much. No, we don't. Crazy that they didn't attack there, like actually crazy. I mean, I'm assuming is because they had land in hand or they have a land in hand, but it's like, damn, bestie. All right, fuck you, Shuffler. That is just mean as hell. Kind of shit. The remix. Did a little jump scare. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather just see if I can bring this to like, or maybe I'll see if I can bring the siren to two toughness and then the three toughness. Surely there's not a land on top now, right? Surely. A wormlet. No. <laughs> No, I'm afraid that's not- well, I guess it's synergized with the Siren. I'll take, actually. Not bad. Not mad at that. I think opponent had been, like, holding Godric to try and, like, get the, you know... the celebration. No, Vine Silk. No, I'm holding up Sentinel Sacrifice, just in case. King Square Cosmetic. You can get it for free with the Gig Sleeve. Good value. Great value. Six point eight gigs. Yeah. For free with seven gigabytes of download uh, stuff. I mean, do I have a sentinel attack here? I 
Not really. It would just double, double block with Charming Scoundrel and Godric and it's not gonna be nice. Getting the I'm a star gives happily the best contribution I can make for stream. <laughs> Please, I'm a star. The best. Yeah. Yep, Duff Kukia or like Ginger Brute doesn't really accomplish much here. Get emote. It, it just like encapsulates like perfectly like how Magic the Gathering Arena makes you feel some days. Exactly the right vibe. Truly perfection. All right, let's get some good shit going here. I hope I'm not too greedy right now. Do you have to watch Pearl and X? <laughs> I mean, Pearl is just Pearl is just great. It's a really good movie. You will be ready for Maxine. Ugh. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Movie's gonna change lives. Most hyped I've ever been. Nah, Pearl would have had like an Oscar of like horror movies don't get snubbed every time. Minus Black Swan, I guess. Minus Misery, like those are the only few that I can think of. <laughs> uh, like a tragedy, truly. All right, well. We're making another Red Aggro Gamer really think about it. And then eventually it results just into swinging because that's, yeah. The Red Aggro way of life. Alright, I don't know what they drew into, but uh... Okay. <laughs> yeah, attack all. And before it said like battle that deals 4 damage to the face, invasion of regatta. I mean, if that is what it is, then you deserve to win that game, for real. Ben controls a good deck. <laughs> like, Greg Orange could place control in every fucking format in every meta. Like, the dude is just a god on it. That doesn't mean that Bent Control is a good deck. That means that Greg Orange is one of the most, like, if not the best control player around and can make it work anywhere. Like, be fucking real. Yeah. <laughs> be real. Mm -mm. Like, come on now. How to let, like, how to just basically say in one sentence you have no clue what you're on about. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's like. It's, uh, yeah. Well, the fight is a good deck. Well, it's not something you could summarize in a sentence, but it definitely, you know, depends on how it's positioned in the meta. Oh, is this Slogurk? 
Oh, Jesus. Alright, I got a cauldron. Now, like, it's sketch as fuck on so many levels, but, like, I encourage everybody to play bed control. Everybody, you can net back that deck. It's so good, tier one. I'll play it. <laughs> Everybody, go try it. Or is it not? It's just like a. It's, I was thinking it's Slogurk, but it's not. I think it's just something else. Slogurk just play white. Just Ashenold, Ashenold and vibes. fuck was that? <laughs> Whoa! Planner disruption? Whoa! Oh my cauldron? Oh shit, get hit I guess. Rude, yeah. But honestly, slay. Love that for them. It's nice. Nah, I think it's actually just another like Control at home deck. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a great player, so like... <laughs> don't say that just because a fantastic player does something with, you know, a very bad deck. That all of a sudden deck's good, like, I fear. Words of stack? I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Wizard control? That planner disruption kind of like hurt though. Hmm. Like now you're like, okay. Like somehow these planner disruptions are fucking like heart countering my hand because I just have nothing going for me. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> they found the secret tech planner disruption that's nah, true it's true that's true they found the, the secret code they cracked it they cracked the code no I'm not pretty sure you actually I'm not sure either way can't activate Look at all the fucking warning signs on this thing. Woo, 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 woo. Rough cauldron right there. They're actually playing a draft deck though. Sheesh. Wee woo, yeah. Wee woo. Hard countering my deck. I mean, I'm impressed to be honest. Like, you, you pull both now. A masterpiece, that's what it is. It's a masterpiece. Dream spoilers. Random stone play, I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, <laughs> I'm nervous. Uh, that's dream warriors <laughs> that's dream warriors no i don't know it could be anyway vibes i respect this opponent oh you played as a joke yeah, yeah i got it i was laughing i was laughing 
<laughs> what kind of good game are we uh, we getting now? Like a good good game or like Okay. This vibes. Sunfall. I would unironically get pretty tilted, but... Do you get Ashnal back? Vibes. It's a respectable or soft mid-range budget deck. Respectable. Okay. Yeah, never before till uh, we, we cured in the eyebrow senior. All right, bestie. So it's kind of more like words of cards I own. Anything is possible. Believe in your dreams. Make it happen. All right. It's been garbage. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think overall Cookie still like does good. Sometimes the deep cavern bat, like you can handle a bat if it steals a card. But it's like the second that bat gains a shitload of life. Trench warfare. Oh look, more red aggro. Yippee. At this point, like, the metagame challenge is just becoming boring against these slow red aggro players. Rip metagame challenge, we were fun while it lasted. Now it's only people trying to spike it out with mono red aggro. And normally, at least, like, red aggro would be fast, but these people are not fast. People are slow. Alright, missing land drop is gonna hurt a lot. Fears of that. Yeah, we're gonna need some efficient answers, so. Uh... We are. Oh, well, that's not suspicious at all, is it? Play different bear back to our playlist. Just, just a land would do so much for me. Like, Jesus. All right. It's crazy. Like, basically, have a coin flip. Like, chance to hit a land every time. Land you drive. All right. At least we have some life gain in here. It could be worse, you know. Like Sentinel would be a good blocker, so I think I'm gonna start off with that. And we have this to gain life. Injured groups to gain life. Could stabilize here, depending on what their hand looks like. Mishra Foundry buff. 
or Sentinel comes in clutch. And they hit the frenzy. All right. Frenzy hit. I repeat, frenzy hit. All right. Now it's getting a little, uh, a little scary in life here. Gotta heal up a little bit. Last turn, opponent's slowly running out of cards. We have life gain. This is why cookies can thrive. Life gain is cheap. True, true. Life gain is cheap. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, bestie, I see you wanting to buff up with that boundary. I see you. Yeah, meanwhile, the fucking... The Esper player gaining like 20 life against us. <laughs> it's like... Bruh. Life gain is so... Like, this is what happens when you don't have any, like versatile anti-life gain like strategies going for you truly like this these are like the types of metas like you end up in so much life gain everywhere we need to what is that like red um enchantment that's like you know day one bonus gain gain life being everybody for one an upkeep We need that shit back. That was a good card. Whirling Vortex, yeah. Whirling Vortex reprint when? The fourth three dude from Bro. The dinosaur? I remember Sphinx Rev. That was horrible, yeah. <laughs> Sphinx is revel a revelation or something? That was a rough one. Ball. Yeah, that was always like whenever whenever I used to play uh us. Whenever I used to play like Pioneer or some shit, and like I was playing like Rectals and you almost have your opponent and they were like, ooh, Sphinx Revelation. I cry. Every time. Those were the days, yeah, the good old days. Sorry, bestie. Aldrin's so good. Goodbye. What's up? It's a deck today. We've been playing some cookies. Just had a four and one. We're uh, currently about to get the two zero, I think. Trying to like farm red aggro decks. It's the life, you know. It's the life. Wait, this is the second time I've seen Emberith Veteran. What's going on? Eh? Is there like a red deck that people, someone played with Emberith Veterans in there or something? Or are they doing that to like hate on cookies? Like, no, that's the wrong card. What is this? <laughs> What's it good for? I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. Drop the 80% trolling, go for a bestie. Live your life. Create a young hero roll token attached to it. Witch Shocker. You know what? Every time I board in Tamiyo safekeeping in this matchup, and it fucking never shows up. <laughs> Crying. Think square, these are the this is the eight gigabyte update. Pretty good, isn't it? It's a vibe. It 
That's a vibe. Get it? Get it. All right, well, I'll play Kaito Larsenis. I'll uh, hit the veteran, I guess. I hit my own map token. There I go. Stalling. The Nimpakal save is fucked up. I haven't seen that yet. Wait, what? Which one? Do I not have it? I, the only one I know that I've seen so far that's fucked up too is like Elish Norn fighting like Elspeth. That one's like really fucked. I haven't seen an Impacal though. Amalian Vampires? Not really. There's not like a whole lot of life gain synergy in vamps. So I haven't really done that yet. Cyber screen is fucked. Yeah, that truly really is like a tragedy. That really is tragedy. Oh yeah, <laughs> find the patch of grass. I've seen that one. Holy shit, they're playing cloth. Ain't no way. All right, I wasn't expecting that to be that easy for them. To be fair. Mm, okay, I guess so. Um, I could be in a little bit of trouble here, to be honest. Eh, I mean, it depends. I have stuff to be that's like two food tokens. I got a vine stall going for me. It's like, I, I don't know, they, in like the... You know, the publisher notes, whatever, they said it was like just unit and stuff. I doubt they're like ahead enough to put MKM on there. <laughs> I hope they are, but uh Francis Love Nash true. Like I really need to like listen to her old albums again. I am Pigwing. Hope you are too. Oh what the fuck? Another one? You know the Monk F4 of the update. No, I haven't actually. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I need to make some moves to win here. So, um, so what do I have to do? Maybe find a way to win all the way back. All right, I just gave up. How's it going with cookies so far? It's going. We're always making a profit when we play cookies, so that's good. Got like five wins, ones, four wins, and three wins. The three win one was like unfair though, because we got kicked out by another cookie player. <laughs>